Just in my hammer. Oh. John. Incoming. You're open. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. <laughs> Motion to compel. Speed of light. Cut to the chase. I'll catch up. 
speed of light. With sword comes shadow. Breath of the flame. What's the hurry? To enjoy this too much. <laughs> Freeze. Yeah. 
shall perish. Shine down. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Illusion shattered. Shine down. Torn to oblivion.
this. Whirling snow! Sakura swirl! Threat of the flame! You're open! Boom! My apologies! Light blade! The hunter! To the fairy! Time to clean up! Freeze to the core! To enjoy this too much. This. Come on. Freeze to the core! 
Be mine. Enhanced 
Panama module 75. <laughs> Absorption test. <laughs> Stand clear. Yeah. <laughs> Absorption test. <laughs> Let the show begin. You're in for a little shock. Yeah. Try not to enjoy the. for a little shock.
Take flight. With sword comes shadow. I must leave no stone unturned, as a dutiful maid would. Don't blink! Cut to the chase! Shut up! Will be mine. Ha! 
things up a little.
pleasure is concerned. <sighs> if you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder, was it something we did? We will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. You must be Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. True. But... That's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh, maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then it'll all come flooding back? Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mm, I keep a diary? If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Oh, yes, yes, you do. And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. Things which would prove very important at a later date. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. This looks like Tejima's diary, all right. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dry braised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. 
I soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Huh? Wait! There's more! I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for! Time to pay a visit to the shrine! So this is the omamori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? that Tejima visited a lot? The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Something that kept him in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Let's dig it up and take a look. Oh, it looks like a letter. The paper's gone yellow. Must have been written a really long time ago. Honda Village. Sounds so familiar. Where is that place again? Huh. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years! Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <laughs> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. <sighs> and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been... hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her... it's all disappeared. No, not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. Mm, I think... maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although... What if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, 
I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Kejima seems to be dealing... okay. But still... It makes Paimon really sad. Seems it's just like Ayaka and Toma were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejimo was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. <laughs> 